guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Very excited to break down this awesome Oasis tune for you. Also, thanks for supporting what I do here, Marty Music. I really appreciate it. I'd love it if you were to subscribe to the channel here and click the bell notification. Also, if you're trying to get deeper into guitar with, uh, you know, more courses and stuff like that, you can check the links below, and I really appreciate that. All right, let's do it. All right, let's start with the main lick, that opening lick. I first saw this chord in the Allman Brothers song, Sweet Melissa. It's like an F-sharp minor chord, which is in the song. But what we're going to do is we're not going to bar it. So it's just the fourth fret A and fourth fret D string. Then our index finger is going to be on the second fret G. And that way we're going to leave the open B and the high E string open as we arpeggiate or play through. And so what's going on is we're going to pick the A, D, G, and then we're going to hop over to the high E and go down. So... All the way down from the high E to the A string. As you, when you get to that open A, you're transitioning to an A sus two, which is just like an A chord, but with that open B string in there. So it hits it one time, and then the next time you're on the chord. And so it's that A sus to a B7, which is second fret, first fret, second fret. Real slow. So there's a little lick there, which you're bending. You're bending the second fret A string. Half step. Then natural, pulled off open. And then we're hitting that F sharp note there, which is the fourth fret. And then he goes into a higher voicing and the rhythm guitar, the other guitar now, kicks in with a power chord riff, the verse. So let's now hop over to the other guitar player, Bonehead, I believe. So F sharp power chord, two, four, four. So you're just taking your index off to get that open E in there. And then a quick open. And you're gonna go to an A power chord, so same voicing, fifth fret, and then B, seventh fret. So the higher riffs during, and they were all pretty high, I'm pretty sure, um, but as far as the riffs go, um, <laughs> so 
just a cool little triad. Um, it's the seventh fret of the high E and the fifth fret of the B and then the sixth fret of the G. And I was watch, watching some live footage, and he was having a ton of fun, uh, uh, you know, jamming a little bit in the pentatonic, getting a little squirrely up in that little range. He wasn't keeping it so exact, but that's what you're hearing in the recording. And then what we have is kind of the next section, which is uh, super easy. It's just the E. play an E power chord. It's not, there's, I don't really hear the major third in there, but you could also do the power chord, uh, you know, you do a power chord where you mute that E and get the whole thing. All right, so the, right before it goes to the, like the hooky chorus, you've got this kind of pre-chorus and it goes to a E power chord. So it's just E power chord and then that F sharp. You can add a little one of those in there. Then the E power chord again. Into. into a C sharp seven chord. So next time through before the chorus, it's that E power chord. To a C sharp seven. And the voicing I'm hearing is. So it's just like a C sharp major, but you need the fourth fret of that G string. So you're going, uh, you know, fourth fret barred and then an A7 looking shape. So sixth fret on the D and sixth fret on the B for that chord. And then the rhythm guitar plays the chorus, which is... Uh, So it's D to A. I'm doing power chords. It could, you know, depending on the situation you're in, it's D to A major, E major to F sharp minor. Just if you wanted the to know the whole to tonality, but it's gonna rock harder with the power chords. There's a lick going on underneath that chorus, but then also a very uh, classic. But we got to get what's going on underneath the... Let's talk about that. So over that chorus, there's this lick. And it keeps repeating. And so you can think of it as F sharp minor pentatonic or the A major pentatonic. They're the same scale. So we're gonna hammer from two to four on the A string, hammer don't hurt them. And then second fret D. Back 
octave four on the A. Two, and then O. Which could also be five on the E. I think O, the open A, is going to be easier. So it's actually two A open A's, so... So, uh, same thing, open, two, four, and then four to that second fret F sharp. So we're in that same scale that we we were at here. So we're going to bend on, you know, it's this A major pentatonic scale or F sharp minor. So you're really in this little box between the 14 and the 16 on the D and G. And then you've got the uh, 17th on the B, but think of it as... So we start with that. 16 bend on the G, back, and then 14 on the G. Then back, but without the bend. So. Then we go over to the D string. Pull off, back up to that. So you put that together. And then back again, so. One more time slow. Next phrase starts the same way. But now we hit that 17B, so. right back to the G from that pinky. Whole step back, natural. So from the top. And then one last thing. Very Allman Brothers, actually. Two things from the Allman Brothers in this, which I doubt they were influenced by it, but it's just there. So, so hammer on, pull off on, it's in that box, and then back to the D, then back to the G on the 14. All right, so. Now it repeats, but it doesn't do that last little doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. It just goes. Right back into the E. Into that C sharp. So there's nothing new that you really need to learn. The only thing is at the end, right in that same scale. I mean, it's all just jamming right in that spot. That's all you need and you've got the whole song. So I hope you enjoyed it. there it
was. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thanks again for hanging out. Feel free to request anything you'd like to see in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thanks again, guys. We'll hope to see you uh, real soon.